Hello everyone. Brilliant. Hello everyone. Hi guys, welcome to this Friday's Raw and Uncut. Um, we're just going to wing this one and answer your questions. Um, right, question number one we have this week. You go, Rick. Go, you, um, yeah, because it's quite yeah. a good one. It's quite a good one, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It, is, it is what people think. Go, so I had someone come up to me on Monday saying um, they had apple pie at the weekend. Apple pie? A bit of apple pie. They tracked it in their calories and they said they felt really guilty for eating it. So um, I think people assume eating bad food is going to make you gain weight. But if you're still in your calories, you're not actually going to gain weight. It's, it's all guilty. about it's having like a Mackey, isn't it? Yeah. You're guilty of having a Mackey. I mean, <laughs> good food's got calories in it, so bad food. But it might just be different, different nutritional values. Especially the Harry Potter. That's it. Yeah. Harry Potter's Mackey. Yeah, you like a Mackey, don't you, mate? Yeah. But I'll tell you what's. Uh, um, it's interesting because it is that like good food, bad food. You talked about it last week. You know? yeah. Good food, bad food. And Aisha's right. It's it's just calories. It it doesn't really matter. The body doesn't know that you're eating apple pie, or eating chicken. It just knows nutritional value, and it knows that there's protein in chicken you can utilize, and there's sugar in apple pie that you can utilize. The, the the problem is is like we said all along. If you've got a calorie balance set at I know eighteen hundred calories, you'll fill eighteen hundred calories really quick with apple pie than you will do eating. Cleaner, healthier food. So you'll go often. You go hungrier. Well, you sure <laughs> you often go hungrier, don't you? Because yeah. you eat, you know you consume your calories really quickly. You'll go hungry quick. Whereas with healthier food, you've got to eat a lot of food to get to 1,800, 2,000 calories. A lot of food. It's like you, you're definitely not going to go. Your diet's hungry. fairly good, isn't it? But then you are top it up with a bit of shit. Yes, just to are. get the calories in. Yeah. So you, you do for like you know the mental state. Yeah. Mental state. You have if you literally eating the same food day in day out and you have nothing you eat food because you enjoy it then you yeah. so i eat certain foods because i enjoy it i like pizza at the weekends why would i cut my pizza out and i enjoy it i, I think it's why like people don't actually do well on diets because they just deprive themselves they're so strict on diets yeah, yeah, and yeah. end up doing it for a week and then think oh fuck it you don't know. actually have to be strict you just no. have to know but like i said you'll just you just know that if you eat on uh, I'm going to use unhealthy choice, but if you use more, if you eat foods that are more calorie dense, you're going to use your calorie allowance sort of really quickly. I do get it. Some people I speak to, if they have a little bit of shit, they want a whole lot of shit. It almost spirals out. Yeah, no, just get a biscuit, you're going to have a packet. But then yeah. I still have a sort of issue with food, isn't it, in general? That's right, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, that's if you're, you're around a person that does that, then then I'll probably go against having that food. Because it sort of on the set, you know, if you have like a bit of that pie, you want the whole fucking lot. Yeah. And they can't stop themselves from eating apple pie. No. Especially um, if it's good apple pie. Yeah. Which mum was apple pie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's getting eaten. Yeah. Um, um, really. Mum not mum not good cook, mate, no. Oh yeah, I said. Just one right after. Ooh. I went mum was apple pie. You went she, she definitely wasn't your own girl. Ooh. Yeah, you definitely you were definitely eating pie, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, went, over. you definitely watch <laughs> your pie then, mate. Um weekly <laughs> weight loss in this one, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I just want to finish with no single food will make you gain weight. So like no single oh the only thing that makes you gain weight is when you're eating more calories than you're burning. Harry Levin or something, man. Yeah. Yes, mine's getting educated. Yeah. Educated. So go on. Your, your question was what? Uh, what? weekly weight loss. <clears throat> so um, someone said I lost two pounds last week. We really should start <clears throat> actually naming the people that say it, shouldn't we? Then someone else doesn't want to be named, do they? I don't think no. Apple pie. No, <laughs> nobody pie. wants to know right to add it in. Yeah, yeah, apple pie. Yeah. Apple pie. Yeah. Um, yeah, week, week they weight loss. So someone said they lost two pounds last week, they ate the same this week, why have they lost two pounds this week? So it doesn't happen weekly. You shouldn't be losing like a pound a week, two pounds a week, three pounds a week. Weight loss just happens so unevenly. As long as the line goes down over the month, or two months or three months, you're doing a good job. But it won't actually happen. Especially you're a female, female weight goes like that daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close to the um, period, they're going to be the end of the Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Period, time of month. Um, you can't say period, mate. Uh, first time of month. Yeah. Lady What's week. It called, Lady week. Pink week. Pink week. <laughs> so, so you have a struggle with period, do you, mate? Is uh, that, you really it? struggle with the word. It's a bit. Yeah, I don't know. I think like the lady week. Russians are in, mate. Yeah, the Russians are in. Yeah, the Russians. The Russians are in. That's what traveling. Hey, you're traveling. Another term. Another terminology. Honestly, I tell you what. Fucking child issues. But yeah, you can't say period. When, they, when a woman's on their period, mm. they, 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 they normally... Actually, a good, there's an article I read that actually, if you are 
the person like you know when you're your week up to your time of the month and you you know what's cool. you're gonna you can do it in a minute but you can educate me in a minute <laughs> but that weekly knob is when you start you know you you'll start you'll want more carbs because it's almost like your body's preparing for you know what's going to happen um, if you eat the week before it, it's it's pretty good and you want to bash the shit out of people as well yeah well that's just you i think guys, to be honest and then come uh come up to uh the actual week when you're actually on your monthly you're on literally monthly. you want yeah you want to eat everything <laughs> but if you eat if you prepare the week before and come out almost like you're working up to it um you won't crave as much apparently according to the research you really oh, sure i can't week. really comment because the week about before that, but apparently you won't it's called your flicked flick tool stage you what the flick tool stage i hope that was it <laughs> yeah you're telling me you don't Oh, you're flicking the read nasty? No, I read about it. Oh, you want to tell Oh, yeah, you found out someone's doing something. Oh, you got news? Um, <laughs> I will read it up because I don't want to get this wrong. Have you got news? Um, what are you trying to tell us? I'm sure it's called as your wife, Mr. Flicks, is saying. Right. I said, if you can't go and talk to me, so I'm looking at This guy, honestly, he wanted to dump two degrees right right his phone, which you right Google. Anyway, so apparently, yeah, yeah what's all the research? Yeah. Uh, what's some look? The I can't pronounce it. The the Follicular. Yeah, perfect stage. What's all right? Wow. So you go to school. That time of the month is normally the, the week before period. Yes. It's normally the stage. Quote me if I'm wrong, ladies. You might. Be we, can't, we, we can't. We we can't. I the don't week, know. The week before is a time normally for someone. They get hungry and they want more shit. Yeah, and that's, and that's when and the and research was saying that's when you should eat. I personally think want it. everyone's different. Yeah, so I've, I've, I said some people who have I don't that know how this subject. I said some clients that have that issue the week before their period starts is that I bring them up the maintenance calories. So if you're in a deficit for three weeks, the week before we bring up the maintenance calories, yeah, yeah, yeah. extra 300 calories a day, they can cover their period a lot better. And then, and then absolutely, and then during that week when they're craving all the sugar and all that, they don't necessarily, I can't come to the research because again, me and Chris can't comment because we're not experts in that area. But I've come to the research. What? Well, well, I'm definitely, I definitely, I definitely, I definitely am <laughs> moody certain times of the month. Um, but yeah, actually, do you know what? That, that was another study sort of years ago. So they, they reckon that men do have a a peak in the month mm. where they're just at their work at their worst, and you know what I mean, like just generally like a bit more down. You're pretty down when you've been menopause. Wow. And it's, called, it's, called <laughs> andro, it's called andro. It's called actually. Yeah. Like belly's falling out, balls empty. Yeah. Like, you know, KKK KK, 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 <laughs> Get me steak and empty them. Yeah, literally, yeah. But I don't know how. Yeah, so how you got this over the month, if you do struggle all that time, you can bring your calories up to maintenance. You will not gain any weight that week. You will not put any on. You won't lose any. Gain some fluid weight. Yeah, I mean, as in like fat. Yeah, yeah. Um, but over the month, you also lose. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's not. It's when you put pressure on yourself to do it really quick. And I know every week. You know, every week we do is run on cuts, and we want to bring up stuff that isn't calorie based, diet based, nutrition based, anything like that. But you know what, it is the really is the, because nobody ever turns around to us and says, I can't seem to get past 30 kilos on my arm curls. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not really a thing that people are concerned about. No. It's, it's the actual- It's always a big one though, is sleep. Mate, massive. So many people just do not get enough sleep. And it is I'm, a big I'm, part of you, me, you Shit, sleep, don't really know. It's a big part of weight loss, isn't it? It's having the stress and sleeping. Sleep. So eight eight hours is a good amount. Of they say time. women need more sleep than men. Yeah, just just just, just so you're quieter for longer. No, but that, that was studied by women as well, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it's it's the they, they function better on more sleep. Yeah, they definitely. Men function better when women have more sleep because mm -hmm. again, you know, it's another couple of hours and nothing to listen to you. Well, I agree to very much, but you know. Oh, you yeah, yeah, sleep is <laughs> massively important for stress and weight loss, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, I think that's one of the big ones because when you're tired, as you know, when you're tired, you don't function, and your head's not clear, and everything. Do you know what I mean? You, you just everything else, and and on the, all, and you and you really freak about the small stuff, don't you? All the small stuff, sweatshirt, you know, you gets on your nerves. Whereas normally you can cope. I think sleep's a massive thing for coping and for uh, mood. Yeah. And you, you know what I mean? Massive. The so same food. It's it's like like a sleep increases levels, doesn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh you're reading that. Well done, girl. You're reading that. But you uh, job. Maybe you sleep tonight, you'll be fired tomorrow. I'll be sleeping all day tomorrow. Tell them about your fight. Yeah, tell them about It's tomorrow, isn't it? It is tomorrow. That's where, what? Where, 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 where? Uh, it's at the Pet Drop College. Can they get yeah. tickets still or not? Tickets on the door, 15 quid. Wow. Um, rematch. It's a rematch from yeah. last weekend. 
Yeah, how did last weekend go? Actually, I just don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but alright. Yeah, it was fine. I'm going to make some more exciting. It's a spit decision it was last weekend. It was a split, so basically, yeah, Asia travelled up, up country to fight somebody in their hometown, got a split decision, and oddly, the decision went to her opponent, which, you know, you could call it a bit of bias, because that's in the video. And, no, and, I'm not, and I'm not being biased towards Asia. I would have said to her, Asia knows what I might have told her, but if you look at the video, you're kind of like, eh, Asia definitely landed a lot more and was definitely a lot more powerful, a lot more. It makes uh, it more exciting for yeah. this week, doesn't it? Yeah. But if you've got any suggestions of a walkout song, Too late please. Now. Uh, what? Too late now. So I've gone in. Gone in? Gone in already. What is it? I'll tell you. What have you put one in for her? I put a poll out, yeah. Wow. Suggestions so far. Oh, um, please say it's like rainbow and stuff like that. So we had rainbow. suggestions so far uh, were a Barbie Girl, <laughs> um, I Don't Like Cricket, Baby Shark, Nelly the Elephant. Nelly the Elephant. Uh, Johnny Cash, Ring of Fire, that's been my favourite one so far. Yeah. Afro Man, Barbie Girl, Greatest Showman. The greatest wow. Show. Shit song. Great um, show, man. So yeah, I'll tell you That's later on which one's won. Anyway, great show, man. Good, good for the show. I watched it, everyone watched it. That's just stupid. Well, honestly, man. Just not in touch with your phone inside at all, are you? Yeah, you have your hair cut every Friday and you're not in touch with yeah. your phone inside. And he gets really upset if you don't notice that he's had his hair cut. It's only because he has it every Friday we notice it. I'm going to see you, mate. What is it? British show. Is it not? What do you watch? Like you watch war films, don't you? Yeah, like musicals. Watch war films, mate. Gangsters and Warfare. Best musical I like, Dirk Dancing. Oh, it's a good film, though. That's good. Mate. I don't yeah. see the point in them breaking it into a song after it's said a sentence. It's not really a musical, is it? Well, not very arty at all, are you? It's amazing you can write your name, really, isn't it? I don't like musicals. So, anyway, comment underneath if you like musicals, and if you do like musicals, what's your favourite musical? Just to piss Chris off. And even if you don't like musicals, just write lots and lots of musicals underneath because it'll really annoy him. Suggest ones for him, educate him. Oh, how's your training going? High society is a good one. <laughs> yeah, how's right. right. your training going? It's all right, actually. Wow, I wish we could. Can we not put the link of the video under this? Oh, no, he's got it. I don't, I don't no, I meant, I meant that video. Which one? Which one? Not saying it. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yes, give it to anybody. Oh, yes, we can if we get off your dad. I'm not embarrassed so Rocky, though. You don't want to embarrass Rocky? No, he, he was upset by it. Yeah, he was, yeah. You did, you did go down literally straight. Are you surprised? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Right. So Chris was sparring, and we'd love to show you the video, but he won't. He's, you know, I don't know why he won't show it. He took he took it really well, and he's sparring, and he got hit, and he he, he literally went down. He went. Right. I'd like to say he went down like a sack of shit. sparring, Chris. Yeah, right. Nice. Cheers. Yeah, I'd like to say he went down That's like a sack of shit. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't go down like a sack of shit. He went down like that. Like a pole. Like a tree going down. Like a timber. It was literally. It was a timber. And it literally was like dot like. Yeah, you went down quicker than hit you. You went out of timber, I didn't put my arm back, didn't I? So I can't be knocked out. I, I don't... He was on the floor for a proud bit, just looking up at the sky. Well, I'm surprised. He threw a big white hook at me. You, he didn't throw a big white hook, you walked into it. <laughs> well, he threw it away. Well, he threw it, it, it was already travelling and you literally might... He you threw you threw might as well just go, I'll have a bit of that. And put your face <laughs> on it and he threw it. <laughs> anyway. So, but but I'm you know what? Some, right, four weeks into all the fight. I think, it, I think one, it was a great punch from Ryan. <laughs> There's a few illegal bets around as well. Is there? Shapps has put their legal bet he's, he's on. He's legal bet. Andrew Shapland. The sneaky Shapps is. Andrew Shapland. <laughs> he's a <laughs> really good guy. Yeah, he's, he's been putting the legal bets on me. Illegal. 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 Yeah, Mine and Chris's boring cut with information. Yeah, but it's just it's just boring waffle. People don't watch it. People watch it for banter. It's just boring waffle. Uh, put underneath. Do you watch it for banter? Or do you watch it to get your educated? We'll see. I'll put a poll underneath it. You're going to put a poll underneath it? Yeah. What, like you? I'd be in a poll. Yeah. Go and have Right, right. Well, it's his own questions, guys. Fire up. See you soon. Alright, good one. Yeah.